a good time, didn't you, Doc? Huh? Didn't I tell you old Vince Dagan show you a good time? I told you I've got to get back home. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, it ain't gonna be dark for a while yet. Oh, come on. I know you like it. I gotta go now. I've stayed longer than I should already. Be in such a hurry, honey. You know how I feel about you. Hmm? Listen, you know my pa. He whipped the skin off my back. I've gotta get home before he does. I ain't scared of your pa. If he lays a hand on you, just tell me. I'll take care of you. Stop, Vince. Vince, stop it! Stop it, Vince! Vince! Hey, Vince, come on, leave her up. Oh, come on, honey. Stop it! Come on, but you're drunk. Forget it. Go on, let him go if that's what he wants. Forget it, Dagan. Please, Vince, I don't want any trouble. We said leave it alone, didn't we? Anytime you want to finish this, Vince, you just let me know. Hey, wait, don't. Why, you. What's the matter with you? You're trying to start trouble around here and have the sheriff nosing into our affairs. I don't like this, Vince. You've taken too big a chance playing around with Sheriff Kincaid's daughter. All right. So I'm taking a chance. I happen to like it that way. Makes sense, Vince. That Kincaid's meter and a wolf tracking a calf. So I heard. Well, his kind don't bother me none. <laughs> side of life. Maybe he just wants to protect you from that kind of people. I guess he didn't consider it was wrong. Kind of people. But you don't consider me the right kind of people, do you? I didn't say that. You didn't have to say that, even when we were kids in school. Are you Cartwrights consider yourself too good for anybody else? That's not true. What are you doing home. I happened to see her at the store. She had no business at the store. I told her to stay home. Oh, wait a minute. There's nothing to get so excited about. Don't you tell me how to run my family. Now you get out of here and stay away from my daughter. Look, Mr. Kincaid, I've known Dolly for a long time. I think it's up to her to tell me whether or not she'd like to see me. She don't make the decisions around here. I do. Look, I told you to get in the house. Look, if you just listen, I'll you. You try to understand. I ordered her to stay home. If she tries to see you or anybody else, I'll whip the hide off her back. Now, you get out of here and stay away from my daughter. See you real soon, Dolly. Shirts the way you asked me to. Well, that's nice. Must have took you a whole day, did it? Just about. Sure. Well, I'm glad to see you got more to you than your mother had. Her now, she'd have gone out and danced as soon as I turned my back. So I don't have to talk about that. What else do you want me to talk about? This man does the best he knows how, and this woman goes running off with another man. Don't you walk away from 
from me. I told you not to leave the house, didn't I? You can't keep me locked up. I'm not one of your prisoners. All I did was walk down to the store with Vince Dagan. Yes, and you come back with young Cartwright. You're just like your mom. What man is enough for you? Mom, I didn't You drove me off. Just like you're going to drive me off. I'm not trying to drive you, honey. I'm trying to protect you. Dolly, you more believed anything any man said to her. He just like she was. You're as pretty as she is, Dolly. And I'm not going to have you running off with the first worthless saddle tramp that whispers in your ear. I wasn't running off. I just went down to the store. To meet a man. You have to meet a man. I mean a dead man. Because I know that. Because I just like my father. Is that what you want me to say? Paul. <laughs> I don't have to ride up there and check that drift pants out today. It's not as if you don't want it. The boss wants to follow up on a wolf signing he saw over in the canyon. You still feel sure it was wolves, do you? Oh, sure. Ain't no cow that country of that country. That high side's in tracks way too big. Well, it's possible. Old Tom has insisted there's still a lot of timber wolves up there. Boy, I sure would like to get a look at one of them. Well, if lack of game in the mountains has driven a pack down this low, we better do more than just take a look at one. I understand they can pull down a grown steer when they're hungry. That's right, Paul. Yeah, and they're miserable brutes to try to trap. I just don't like putting out poison bait. No, that ain't no good, Paul. Look here, how come you and Adam will ride up there and take a look around? We can check the old man Traeger. He's always bragging about how he used to hunt them bulls for a living anyhow. Uh, uh, let's check the fence first, and uh, then we'll decide. Thanks, breakfast, sir. Well, we were just thinking about supper. You do you have enough sleep? No, not quite, but it's going to have to do. Oh, well, do you think maybe you could talk yourself into a riding fence with us, huh? Older brother, how can you be so practical this early in the morning? Maybe because he's been up for a little while. You were out a little late, weren't you? Hell, I had to ride away from Placerville. I stopped off at Norman Flats to get something to eat. Ran into Kincaid. Oh, was that uh, on purpose or accident? It was a little bit of both. You know, I really feel sorry for Dolly Kincaid. Sorry. She never had any trouble uh, finding somebody to chase after her. No, I think it's the other way around. I think she never had any trouble finding somebody to chase. Well, what are you worried about, little brother? Never had no trouble outrunning her. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so worried about Dolly? but he wasn't kidding. Well, what's he got against you? You and Dolly have known each other for years. Yeah, he could whistle up a tree off of me. I wasn't going to take Dolly out, but I think I will now. Well, don't get involved in a family affair. Kincaid's wounds are kind of raw right now, so give him a little time to settle down. Hmm. It doesn't seem right to me that she keeps his daughter locked up like a prisoner just because he's mad at the whole world. Well, I don't say it's right, but uh, you're not going to help Dolly end up waving a red flag in front of Kincaid's nose. I never thought about that. Tell you what. Why don't you ride out tomorrow morning with Adam and Hoss? They're going out to check that wolf sign that Hoss thinks he saw up in the canyon. What are you trying to do, Bob? Get my mind off Dolly Kincaid. Well, that's what you want to do. Drinking last night. Then you started fighting. I was afraid my father would see me. There wasn't anything else I could do. Of course, there was nothing else you could do. It was my fault. I come by to apologize. Apologize? No, try to. I couldn't sleep last night thinking. I don't know how to say this, but. When you walked out on me yesterday, I just knew I ain't ever going to let you do that to me again. I've been standing out there, waiting for your paw to leave. I know how it is between you and him, the way he treats you. You don't know how it is. So 
like being locked up in a cage. I can't stand it anymore. I know. And I ain't gonna stand by and let it happen to you. I'm gonna take you out of here. I, I don't think I'm taking too much for granted. Because I think you feel about me the same as I do about you. I feel about you. Just that it was never really sure. Yeah, I know. I can see you in the morning. It's what I want more than anything else. People don't just do this. They don't just pack up and... Uh, what about my dad? I can talk to some man. He can be pretty busy in the morning. We need to talk about him. Got to find out. tracks I found down below. Yeah, no company made tracks that big. Quite a pack of them, wouldn't you say? Yep. What do you make of it? Well, over there it looks like something big. Yeah, it's a plain trail. Let's follow. I just saw the other wolves dragging him. They didn't drag him. A couple of them probably worried until one of them got his teeth in his leg. Both got dragged. Yeah, I think one was scared of him. I didn't touch the meat. We didn't do ourselves any favors either. I just dragged down the next stray steer they come across. How many things got to do? Well, I'll go back and tell Pop what we run into. Why don't you two go on up to Traeger's cabin? See if you can hire him to help us out. It's a good idea. Which way they were headed? Trails crossing. <laughs> you would run into your car now, would you? Come on. Get out of here. Further we get from human flaps, the better I like it. Keep it digging. You know what's keep that girl. Yeah, he should have kept that girl out of this. Everything came off the smoke. See more money enough will be figured on. You know that ain't good enough. Lance Dagan, he wants the money and the girl. <laughs> I'm plenty sick of what he wants all the time. If that girl gets in my way, I'll now calm down, Ruby. I think it's right funny. We robbed the bank and he, he runs off with the sheriff's stuff. I think that's really funny. <laughs> no, I don't think it's so funny. If he doesn't show up here the ten minutes go without the money to him. Vince knows what he's doing. And he's got that money in his saddlebags. <laughs> well, now, did you boys have a good sleep for yourselves? Ain't been down out of these saddles for one single minute. You're setting a pretty hard pace, Kincaid. Doing the best we can. Well, your best ain't good enough. Not for me, it ain't. You spend less time worrying about keeping up with me and more time looking for signs you may find something. Now go on back there and take a good look this time. 
I'm heading up into the high country. You going on alone? It's faster. You'd only hold me up. If you see anything, fire a signal. That is, if you know how to use a gun. We better get back to the time. But you said they was headed for Fellas Crossing. They were when I my father was split up. Step back, Jack. How many was it when you saw? I don't know. Is my father? Forget about your father. Please don't let him take me back. Vince, don't take care of me. You said you agreed to take care of me. Just what I'm gonna do. Mixed up with a woman, we're in trouble. Ain't no ordinary woman, that's the sheriff's daughter. I guess one thing to hold up the bank at more flats, but if any part of the job to wait around and get hung for it, you better cut the money into shares. Each man to be on his way by now. I'd think on that if I was you, Robbie. What chance would one man have alone out there, one man against all them postmen? We stick together, we got a chance. We split up later, when we're out of danger. Just like Dagan figured it. Taking in the girl. I told you not to work. Vince, what are they doing here? Oh, the boys. Why, you met Blake with poker in town the other day, remember? Well, they're friends, and I thought they might like to ride along with us for a while. Just surprise me for a minute, that's all. What took you so long? Why, hadn't you heard the big bank robber in flats last night? In fact, we ran into a posse. Back the trailer, Pete. They didn't see you, did they? Nah, we dodged them. Dolly here's right good at dodging possies. She ain't a bit anxious to have her paw catch up to. Yeah, I'll bet them bank robbers ain't a bit anxious to have her paw catch up to them either. <laughs> Isn't funny. A bank cashier was killed. No, it ain't funny, Paul. I'm sorry, man. Betty, no concern of ours, honey. Main thing is we keep your paw from catching up to us. in a cruise age. What do you sell around these parts? That way, Randall only thinks of Wolfstein and 
Cedar Canyon. Sign. Uh, yeah, we found that you drove down one of our stairs. Adam sent us up here. I thought you might want to help. I remember you telling me one time, Mr. Traeger, about being a professional. Yeah, for money. Cost you ten dollars, and I keep the pelts. I you got a deal. Is it all right if we bunk with you for a couple of days? Suit yourself, but you gotta pay for the rope. Say, yeah. Uh, speaking of rope, you didn't run into Sheriff Kincaid back there. Kincaid? No, I should. You mean you haven't heard? There was a big bank robbery in Woman Flats last night. Bank robbery? Yes, Sheriff himself told me. Bank robbery in Woman Flats? It is news. I don't think there's anything we can do about it. While we're sitting here talking about it, the mole's probably packing off some more steers. Yeah, come on, let's go. Get his gut. What's the matter, Dagan? Can't you take care of this yourself? All right, you two, drop your guns. I said drop them. But look at here. I'm just one big happy family. <laughs> sure, you know anything about this? You still want trouble, Dagan? Why don't you put your gun away? I'll give it to you. Oh, get in the house and keep it there. Come on, Dagan, put your gun away. Keep pushing, and I'll bust this gun right over your head. I'll take care of you later. You. What do you do here? I'm just a trapper, that's all. Cartwright boys asked me to help to catch some wolves and catch them in that beef. You got a lot of grub in that cabin? Tom, Dagan, you can't figure on holding up here, are you? You got a better idea. What's the matter, Dagan? Possibly getting too close? Anybody else around here? Just the Cartwright boys. Folks don't come up here often. That's just fine. All right. Come on, house. Get him out of sight. So you say, I don't think you know what you're doing. That posse we saw. How do you know that's all of them? I suppose they split up and come in behind us. Well, I'll tell you that out when it happens. Poker! I play what I got in front of me. I never bet on what the next car's gonna be. Till it falls. Get out there, put those horses in the barn, and get some fire in here. On this place, up. I'm trying to duck 
to posse, huh, Vince? Simple than I am. You know old man Kincaid. Would you want him catching up with Dummy when she's running off with me? I don't know. No, I wouldn't want him catching up with me either. Not if I just robbed the bank. What's he mean, Vince? Nothing. Don't pay him no need. Hey, what you got in the saddlebags, Vince? You don't seem to want to get very far away from it. You did rob the bank, didn't you? All right, so we robbed the bank. Funny that. What did you think was going to happen? Darling, I did that for you. I was going to buy you the nice things you never had in your life. But Vince, you have to kill for That bank clerk should know the winner is gone, not for the whole thing staying in the rack. Like you pushed it a little bit too far this time, Vince. Who did that? I got the flip of the girl, didn't I? What do you got? You're dead. Anytime I tell Poke to pull that trigger, that's what you got. That's true, Mr. Conrad. <laughs> I ought to kill you, Diggins. I ought to kill you the time I caught you stealing from us. <laughs> Just done it. Uh, don't you worry about it, Russ. He's gonna get it. That posse will be back, and Sheriff Kincaid will be with him. Now, don't you think Vince figured that out? Why don't you think you brung that good along? Shut up, the good one. Hey, now, that's a real good question, Vince. Why did you bring it? It's plain enough to see. That Sheriff Papa Hurst comes around here looking for her, and it's gonna tell him to go away, else that girl's gonna get bad. Ain't that right, Vince? <laughs> Nice clothes for you, honey. Everything ever. Don't worry about anything. Everything will be all right. Believe that, don't you? You two boys up here for a wolf hunt, huh? That's right. The posse's gonna get them some wolves, too. And it's gonna be the two-legged cat. Listen to me. That posse's cooked. They're gonna tell them you hired us to help us understand. Ah, oh, they're not gonna believe that. They know you, Dagan. They're gonna believe it all right. When they leave, you're going to ride along with us until we clear this part of the country. And if it could be any mishap, there are going to be two less car rides, I understand. What, that horse is the way? Yeah. Hey, where's the girl? Well, what do you care? And it goes, take your girl away from me. Take easy, Joe. Oh, don't worry, boss. They need us. They need us real bad. Don't push your luck. Leave them alone. I don't know if Posse's even out there. They might turn back. Why ain't taking that chance? Yeah, maybe you better get the big trade while you're at it. Sometimes them Posse's get pretty nosy. Like right. You're gonna take a break. You're like a 
will change you. You don't know what you're doing. You change your mind without rhyme or reason. Dolly, I got things to do. We're gonna bury Trigger. Well, honey, it's, it's the least we can do, ain't it? Find shovel in the barn. Craig, you watch him. Hollis here. Gonna help. Up on your feet. Right away, Paul. Dolly. You help. Clay, keep an eye out. Stop looking at me like that. Are you trying to then you won't see your little brother? We're gonna get you, Dick. One way or another, we're gonna get you. Come on, Dick. Let's get started. What's the matter with you? Somebody gonna watch this, don't they? Besides, you gonna thank me. The thought of the bar. How far do you think you're gonna get after you leave this territory, Clay? <laughs> we do. Well, that ain't gonna make much trouble. Sounds real great, Clay. Yeah. How many men you think you killed? What are you doing with them, Dolly? You're not that kind. Come on, give me the gun, Dolly. You just want to save your necks. Yours and hearts. Yeah, that's right. I want to save our necks. And I want to save your neck, too. I don't believe you. Nobody ever did anything decent for me. Nobody except Vince. Oh, nobody but Vince. You think Vince robbed that bank for you? He robbed it for himself. He'll kick you out the day he's tired of you. Don't say that. It's true, Dolly. You turned me in right along with Vince. Well, this is my chance to live. And I'm taking it. Nobody gives you anything but what you take for yourself. Come on, Dolly, that isn't so when you... You don't think I'd use this, do you? One more step. Yeah, 
Yeah, Dolly, I think you'd use it. To keep from going back to that father of mine, I'd do anything. Joe tried to get away. I stopped him. Try. Right. No, I'm going to fix you real good. Take it. I never did care what you got. Why don't you try to take me without that pistol in your hand? When I'm good and ready, I will. You did fine, darling. Riding back and forth through these canyons all night. What good does it do? Don't forget, Sheriff Kincaid hasn't had any more sleep than we have. That Kincaid, he's like a wolf on the scent. He will give up till he gets what he come after. No one Just not right for my trigger's place. Kincaid might not have been there yet. First of you, take a look through that box canyon down there. when I come to it, didn't I? Well, I got it figured. But Vince, why don't you just tell us what we're going to do? Well, I want to stay in here. What about the rest of us? Sheriff don't know the rest of you. Ain't like you the posse would. You're going out there. I ain't talking to no lawman. You don't got no need to. Horse Cartwright's going to do that for you. He hired you boys to hunt wolves. Like I said, remember? I'll try to remember. You better. I'm going to be right in here with this gun on your little brother's head. And he's shooting that start, he gets it first. Now get. Just don't get nervous with that Hurry up. Been some wolves pestering some for a cow. Well, Joe and me decided to ride up and talk to Mr. Trigger about it. Couldn't find a better man for the job. Mr. Trigger out? No. Oh, he rode out early this morning to set some traps. I've seen you boys around before, have I? There, there's some men we hired to help us out. Oh. Sheriff Kincaid been by here yet? I ain't seen him, but Mr. Trigger said he saw him yesterday. Sheriff told him about the about the bank robbery. We've been out all night. You know Ken Kincaid. Yeah. I know him well enough to know that whoever those bank robbers are, they ain't gonna get away. I promise you that. Well, if you do see anything down Hawk, you let us know, will you? We'll be around. Right. Go ahead. Same to you. he'd be staying around close. What I want to know is how do we get out of here? Yeah, well, I don't know about the rest of you, but Clay, Punk, Roby, you can ride out any time you want to. What do you mean by that? Well, you went out to the posse. I was told you were workers working for us. They believed it. You can ride out any time you want to. They won't stop you. Hey, listen, kid. You make sense, you know that? I'm no bank robber. I'm a wolf. I can ride right out of here. Ain't nobody walking. I'm running this ship, man. And it looks to me like you're running right into the ground. Of course, you boys want to wait around here for a while. Sheriff Kincaid's bound to show up. He's going to be a little tougher to convince than that deputy. Vince, I'm scared. I want to get out of here. Dolly, what do you have to be scared about? You got all that money? You got a man like Vince Dagan to take care of?
Now, you listen to me, Ollie. You're gonna get your cut. Yeah, you boys know when you're gonna get it. When the posse's got you hanging from a tree. Do you remember that old big tree down the road of bees? Mm-hmm. That thing ought to be big enough to hang at least three of them in the boat, don't you reckon? Oh, heck yes. Three of them and room for digging. Stop it! Stop talking that way! Oh, you didn't think it was gonna end any other way, did you, Dolly? Try to be using you, quick wretch. He'll be here the minute you pull that trigger. your friends on a social level, Ellie. You got it right. You know everything, don't you? I don't know Sure, she's gone with you. You're just what she's always wanted, Dagan. You know your father was right. You're just no good, Dolly. I'm no good, at least not by your And that's the way I like it. <laughs> Why you crash, mate? chance to spend a single penny of it. You needn't worry about taking the boys, neither. They're all locked up tight in a jug down your jailhouse. That is what's left of them. Trev, wouldn't you like to know about Dolly? Now she's been right here by your side since the boys brought you in. Running off with a man like Dagan. Why'd she have to do that, Ben? Well, maybe it's because she thought you, you didn't care. 
think it was only the money and the bank robbers I was worried about. I found out Dolly was gone. Then you don't know what it's like trying to raise a girl. No, I guess I don't. But I do know what it's like trying to raise three sons. And sometimes you have to show them a little affection, understanding. You ever try that with Dolly? Father's asking. Dummy. Be patient with him. He needs you very much. Now, as for you, young man, next time you visit Dolly Kincaid, ask your father's permission first. Have an idea he'll give it to you. If don't wait too long, eh? because at the rate that young lady's growing up, I might just ask permission myself. Hey, wait a minute, older brother. Don't you think we got troubles enough in this outfit with one lady's man? Well, how did you ever get mixed up in this family? I'll never know. 